Good morning, friends. Dominic Still here, and it is Thursday morning, Daily Bible Time, and we're enjoying the Cultivate Conference. Archie Poulos is doing a great job for us, opening up uh, uh, Daniel in the mornings, then Strand Groups. I've been having a fun time with my Strand Group. We've been looking at systematic theology. Today, I want to unpack uh, 2 Timothy 3, verse 16, and all Scripture is God-breathed. Uh, scripture is worth reading because of who wrote it. God breathed it, God spoke it, God authored it, God breathed out the scriptures. The scripture is God's breathed out word. We're in 2 Timothy 3.16. What will the scripture do for you when you read it? Well, all scripture is God breathed. The Holy Scriptures, verse 15, they're able to make you wise for salvation. Um, If you want to know how to be saved, um, you want to know how to become a Christian, The Holy Scriptures will give you that information. They're able to make you wise for salvation. Um, How do I find out? How do I understand a computer? I read a computer manual. How do I understand how to um, get to some place? I read a street directory. How do I understand how to be saved? I read the Scriptures. They're written to teach me how to be made wise for salvation. And when Paul write this when he says all scripture is God breathed when he speaks of the scriptures that are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus in his mind in the first place he's thinking about the Old Testament so when I me come to teach the Bible come to teach a part of the Old Testament when I'm teaching on 2 Samuel or Genesis or Exodus I'm asking how does this passage of scripture make me wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. How does it point to Christ Jesus? Um, And um, it's putting your faith in Christ Jesus. What does it say about putting your faith in Christ Jesus, trusting Jesus as the Christ, as the Lord? Um, What are the hints? What's the direction pointing to Christ? Also, what else are the scriptures for? All scripture is God breathed, verse 16, useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness. I think of it, um, yeah, the, the scriptures don't tell me how to get to Wollongong. The scriptures don't tell me somebody else's phone number. Um, but they do tell me if I want to know righteousness. I'm thinking about a path. They teach me how to walk along the path of godly living in righteousness. When I go off the path, it's the scriptures that rebuke me and call me back onto the path. It's the scriptures that correct me they push, they, they help me my way back onto the path. And then it's the scriptures that continue to train me in righteousness to keep going on that path. So again, as I'm teaching any part of the part of the Bible, if this is what it's written for to make me wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. If this is what it's written for, for teaching me, rebuking me, correcting me, training me in righteousness. I ask myself, I'm opening up Exodus chapter three. I ask myself, I'm opening up Hosea two. What does this passage teach me about making me wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus? What does this passage teach me in terms of teaching, rebuking, correcting, training me in righteousness? Last point for today, verse 17 of 2 Timothy 3. It's all you need so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. You don't need anything else. You don't need church tradition. You don't need worldly experience. You don't need words of knowledge. The the scripture thoroughly equips me. It's all I need to be made wise for salvation. And it's all I need to be taught, rebuked, corrected, and trained in righteousness. Now, if I was on a desert island and I just had the Bible, I could read the scriptures, be made wise for salvation, be taught, rebuked, corrected, and trained in righteousness. So really, all other books, all other teachers, um, in a sense, they're all superfluous compared to me and the scriptures. Scripture on its own is what I require. Um, It's self-explanatory. It's self-explaining. It interprets itself. Now, I've benefited, of course, from reading other people's books, from listening to other people's talks, um, from all sorts of input. But in the end, it's all derivative, pointing to building, understanding the scriptures. Thanks for joining us on Daily Bible Time today. Look forward to your company for 2 Timothy 4 and a little burst of that tomorrow. God bless.